Going back to the simple geometric series, in a geometric series, something like a to the rn, where there is some common ratio between all the terms, it being r, if r is less than 1, it was convergent. If r was greater than 1, it is divergent. As if the ratio we're multiplying it by is less than 1, a fraction, then those terms are getting smaller and smaller. If we're multiplying it by something larger than 1, then it's multiplication by something greater than 1. They're going to keep getting larger and larger. So it's very simple to understand that. And what the ratio test does is basically use this idea and applies it to things that are more complicated, where convergence and divergence is not so obvious. So the idea is to take basically to figure out what the common ratio is as n goes to infinity, as the terms go towards infinity, infinite many terms, what is that common ratio approach if there is a common ratio? For this it's really easy since they're very simple like a to the rn, we just divide the second term by the first term and the a's will drop out r squared turn r to the first and the common ratio is r and if this is less than one then it's convergent and if it's not then it's divergent. Uh, basically if we take the limit of something more complicated and we substitute a n plus one into the equation and then we have the regular equation on the bottom if we take the limit as n goes to infinity and it approaches some value that's not infinity or something like that, something like 5 or 1 half or something like that. Basically, if it approaches some value, then as n goes to infinity, it, it behaves like a geometric series. So if it behaves like a geometric series as n goes to infinity, then I can use this idea that if r is less than 1 or greater than 1, I can say if it's convergent or divergent. That's all this means. As limit as n goes to infinity, a n plus 1, I take the second term, divide it by the first term, a n. I substitute these into the equation and take the limit as n goes to infinity. If the limit is less than 1, then a, the sum of a n is absolutely convergent. If it is greater than 1, it is divergent. And there is also another case where l the limit can be equal to 1 and it is inconclusive.